Hey everybody, ampreparagraph.com, 203-892-4119. So, I have a lot of amps in for repair. I always do. It never ends. Three boxes here, another one over there, another one over here. I don't want to show the customer's addresses. And I got, uh, they're stacking up in front of my front door. So, I'm trying to get this done so I can get this out of here. Customers have been very patient. So I'm going to put the series glitch resistors in. I'm going to have two of these in series. So I'm going to have 40 ohms. These are rated for 300 watts each. So I'll have 600 watts total, which is over the amount that I need. So these ceramic pieces, which are hard to get, they slide in the ends. It'll have a rod that goes through the center. I'm going to make the brackets out of this copper material. I'll cut it. It's one inch wide. Uh, so... You know, I'll have the bracket here, a right angle bracket, and then it'll be stood off from the wall with these insulators. So, you know, the insulator will go on these plastic washers. Okay, so I'm going to get to work on cutting the rod down. Like I said, this stuff takes time. It's not like real quick, you know, so cut the rod down, mount these, and I'm also going to mount the high voltage fuse. That's in a box somewhere, okay? I got to find it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh okay i will see you soon i went to the hardware store got all the hardware and uh i'll be back stay tuned okay so you ready to see it here we go got the high voltage board installed it's on standoffs you got the Let's see, the secondary connections from the transformer over here, you got the B positive over here, and the B negative on either side. But I have the connection points all set on the back. Plenty of clearance between the bleeders. These are going to run ultra cool. I went with oversized bleeders, so I don't, don't ever have to worry about them ever failing. Got the series glitch resistors. So I have 40 ohms total. These are... Ohmite Corib type. They're rated for 300 watts each and they can handle an overload I believe of 10 times the rating for 10 seconds. So we got the high voltage fuse. The, none of, nothing soldered yet. This is the, where the B positive will be fed and it'll have it'll be GTO wire and it'll go through clamps nice and clean and pretty. Um, that's a sand filled fuse. 3 amp provided by my buddy Jim in Canada. The B positive here will get connected to a standoff and I'll have another lead going up to the RF deck and a shield. I've, sh I've, done, I've shown that I believe in other videos. So um, uh, I, the way it's set up is I have a ring terminal heat trunk and the ring terminal soldered to the number 10 screw. Uh, I have the plastic washers below the standoffs. Same goes for the larger ones. Um, a uh, tip, uh, I put a towel over the transformer to stop any metal shavings from getting into the core. And these are still loose, I didn't tighten these. So, um, that's that for now. So, thanks for watching. It's ampreparguy.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you guys are liking it so far. Uh, just tons of work here, and uh, like I said... This transformer took three months to make, and I did not anticipate having to do this here. So, it was supposed to be a month. So my time frame would have gotten it done at the other location. So, I still have to run the filament leads through. I'll show how I'm going to do that. And the B-negative, and also the cathode return. So, okay, right, thanks for watching. I will be back soon, but it won't be with this. It will be with a, an amplifier that I've repaired. I can't can't let those go so I spent today doing this and I worked in another amp between um, you know the high voltage board assembly and resistor so chugging along here so thanks for watching ampreparguy.com 203-892-4119 thanks